Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. On May 3rd, Politico leaked a draft Supreme Court opinion that would overturn Roe v. Wade and its nationwide constitutional right to abortion. So two days later, on May 5th, law enforcement erected an eight-foot-tall fence around the entire perimeter of the Supreme Court building here to protect it against potentially violent, destructive, or disruptive protesters. Now, as it happened, nothing actually happened. There were no violent, destructive, or disruptive protests at or around the Supreme Court building. But just as a precautionary measure, they kept the fence up for just shy of four months for most of the rest of the summer uh, until taking it down on August 29th. That's why you can see there isn't any fencing still here anymore. But a new bill in Congress called the No Fencing at the United States Supreme Court Act would ban the possibility of permanent fencing at the Supreme Court building. It would still allow temporary fencing, like what happened earlier this summer, but it would disallow permanent fencing. Now, supporters argue that uh, a federal government designed, as Lincoln said, of the people, by the people, and for the people should remain more accessible to those same, well, people. <laughs> but opponents may counter that increased Supreme Court building security is necessary in an age of you know, record low public trust in the institution, according to multiple polls and surveys and increasing threats against uh, individual justices, notably Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, my hair's going crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what both supporters and opponents say. Uh, I guess you could say that those who are undecided are still on the fence. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being told the Supreme Court just ruled five to four that on the fence is technically an idiom, not a pun.